here across four bars at a time. That's four bars. One, two, three, four. So this one subphrase is actually two hyperimeters. We have four bars and then another four bars. There's the start of our next hypermeter. It does something interesting in the, the second hypermeter, but first let's talk about the, the first group of four bars. There's an accent in the left hand on the downbeat of each measure, just like we would expect. The strong beat. that very clearly, and then everything else is at a very light piano. But then, in the second hypermeter, the second group of four bars, we have what's called a hignol. Here's where he, he actually has uh, a very interesting interplay with the set meter. Rather than being grouped in one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, he actually groups it in twos. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And so when you feel this sort of quickening of the pace, instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is accentuated both by the left hand, which needs to be played properly as, broken, as a broken chord. In the right hand, we have groups of four, which are we should feel almost like sixteenth notes if we're if we're thinking in common time. One E and a two E and a three E and a put together. And we want to make sure that it doesn't just sound like da 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 da, but it actually has that cycle. Da 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 da. Too. So the accents are going to get increasingly louder. So to summarize, the first hypermeter has a regular beat on each downbeat. And then we go into a quickened hemiola. So slightly slowed down and really emphasizing those accents, it would sound like this. follow exactly the same way, but over a different chord. So far, it's all been one harmony. That whole first eight bars is one harmony, which just shows Chopin's intent to write broadly over several bars at a time, which is why we need to phrase over those several bars as if it's one unit. The next one is over E minor chord, which is sub down. follows pretty much exactly the same way with accents on beat one of each measure for four beats one two three four one and then a hemiola one and two and three and four and one. What follows this in the next section is very interesting. At this point we have our first case of syncopation. And not just syncopation in hypermeter, but actually a syncopation within the measure. So each measure, again, it's a scherzo, has three beats, three chord notes. And usually in a scherzo, there's a strong emphasis on beat one, maybe a slightly stronger emphasis on beat three, but never on beat two. In this case, we have an emphasis on beat two, and that is, a, and it's sustained, so it's syncopated. <laughs> Right there on the G. It's very dramatic harmony as well. And it's sustained not only by the left hand sustain, but by the descent in the right hand. In the second measure, there's also an emphasis on beat two with an octave. Two measures in a row. 
one, two, one, two. While this syncopation goes on for two measures, it doesn't last. In the next bar, we return to our normal uh, strong with slight strong beat on B1, slightly shorter beat on B3. And this is brought up again in the left hand, which is usually what determines the metrical accents. This requires some virtuosity because you're going to get the, the low F sharp as well. The right hand needs to stay very light and underneath the left hand. At this point, the same uh, metrical pattern continues. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, but now it's legato. After that, we have the surprising accent down in the left hand. It'll sound like this. So start out, it should sound, like, and this is important for you as a pianist to practice this way. Rather than practicing at the piano, practice with speaking, speaking the rhythm, and even clapping, and snapping, everything that you, you need to get into the rhythm with. The first two bars are going to be one, two, one, two, and then. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Then practice it. I elongated that one just to kind of demonstrate how important it is to get to that second beat very strongly. you are with those beat two emphases, the more like a scared to a sound, the more playful it sounds, pushes. And that's exactly what Chopin is going for here. What follows this is a broadening of the overarching rhythmic structure. So, so far we've been very uh, intra-measure focused. We've been focused on each measure and what each measure is doing. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we're broadening and we're just holding across the entire across two bars, essentially. And so there needs to be sort of this release of tension that has been building up this entire time. And again, the left hand is the most important part of this. The right hand needs to be very precise, but the left hand is where you put most of your uh, focus Rhythmically on. And again, still feeling the emphasis on beat one of each measure. Everything else is going towards downbeat of each measure. So uh, there's also in the next section, uh, following the, the slowed down rubato part, uh, it says agitato. Still sort of the same uh, idea, but now it's agitato and sotto voce. Uh, agitato obviously means agitated. Sotto voce means under the breath, uh, almost whispering. And so I usually use the inner quarter pedal. <laughs> Fireworks trying to get out of its shell. And again, it's very important that you emphasize downbeat, 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 downbeat. And that's how it's marked. It's marked accent, 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 staccato. And that way, it feels like a regular bar. Again, the hypermeter structure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Instead of just staying within the same mold of one, two, three, four, one.
one, two, three, four. Sometimes they stretch it out musically, whatever the context might be. And so that extended out to ten bars before going on to the next section. <laughs> Summary: This whole section is uh, is oriented around just the downbeats. There's no syncopations. There's no heliolas like in the first section.